We're back to playing some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. Today is going to be the final day for the Halloween themed video. Don't know if I'll do another one next year. Uh, since I'll probably be wrapping up a lot of videos. Uh, possibly before the year's end. So, well, we'll begin to say her. You know his uh history uh his uh relationship with all these characters and Yu-Gi-Oh! 5ds his cards his playing style all that stuff go ahead and get my links put up Okay, but uh, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff to Talkative Carl on YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. And you can check it out in the if you're watching this on YouTube already, you can check in the links in the in the description below, or just go directly to Talkative Carl on YouTube. Uh, that's Talkative Carl with a K, or if you're on watching me live right now you check the stream labs and uh, links will be right there I'm usually on Twitter more often than not so you can easily find me there when I post stuff when I'm streaming and times that I'm not or if I'm doing a surprise stream on a day that I'm usually not because Wednesdays and Thursdays are my day off just so you know in case you're new to new to the content and days that I am streaming is usually every other day uh, at 6 p.m. usually at 6 p.m. or 7 depending uh, if something else you know takes up my time and I can't start on time right away but yeah so let's get to sayer now he is a psychic in the world well in the universe of Yu-Gi-Oh! 5ds psychics are a thing well in all Yu-Gi-Oh! series psychics are always are are a thing but they're more prominent and not like a gimmick because they're usually at the start of the Yu-Gi-Oh! series during Dual, Monst Dual Monsters, they were like fake. There was like a constant like uh, thing of fake psychic duelists. Uh, My Valentine played a fake psychic. Esperoba played a fake psychic. Uh, but I think uh, Sayer, uh, Akiza, just off the top of my head, are the true legit psychics. Uh, 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 what was Merrick's sister's name? Um, uh, I, I'm blanking on her name. Isizu, Isizu. Technically, she would be considered a psychic with her Millennium necklace, but it's more so well, see in the future. But I guess that qualifies as psychic. But like those would be like considered like legit psychics in the world of Yu-Gi-Oh. But in 5Ds, they're very prominent. It's like a good. It's kind of like mutants in that uh, Marvel universe. They're like, uh, they're, they exist and they make up a certain portion of the population. Not that many, but I guess significant. And some ranges from like very powerful like Sarah and Akiza or very mid range uh, uh, psychic abilities like uh, Misty from the dark signers her little brother that she blamed Makiza for going missing or died in the manga and yeah so Sarah was a ruthless kind of duelist obviously but we'll get into that in a moment right now we'll go over each of the psychic cards that I gathered a few of which were shown on the anime and he, he is a very deadly uh, duelist he actually killed not only Misty's little brother but 
killed Carly and in inadvertently turned her into a dark signer. So he has no qualms of killing people willy nilly just to suit his goals because he wanted to make an army of psyche duelists. So, well, just uh, it was a combination of all psychics. So, well, I actually don't need uh, XCs really. Don't really need an XC's monster for this. Okay. All right. We'll start with the synchro monsters. Thought Ruler Archfang. Uh. If this card destroys a monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard. Gain life points equal to that monster's original attack in the, in the graveyard. During either player's turn, when a spell or trap card is activated that targets exactly one psychic type monster and no other cards, you can pay 1000 life points, negate the activation, and if you do, destroy it. Now keep in mind, like I mentioned in my previous video last week of Carly Carmine, <clears throat> and just like a little brief snippet that I mentioned that uh, psychic type cards constantly like more often than not require you to pay life points to do certain effects so it's highly recommended that you also include cards it'll be helpful if they also help with the psychic monsters as well or as support that increase your life points so that way you can afford to pay uh, uh, the cost that certain cards will require from you. So that's why I got like certain cards like Life Absorber Machine or Solemn Wishes. So that way, you know, I can make the payment. And some of these cards do uh, increase your life points as well, like the Thought Ruler. Okay. Psychic Nightmare. Once per turn, during your main phase, you can pick one random card in your opponent's hand and call what type of card it is. Monster, spell, or trap. If you call it right, this card gains 1,000 attack until your opponent's end phase. Psychic Lift tra uh, Transfer. Psychic Lift Transfer. Life Transfer. Jesus. Uh, psychic Life Transfer. Once per turn, you can remove from play one psychic type monster from your graveyard to gain 1200 life points. Overmind Archfiend. Uh, once per turn, you can select one psychic type monster in your graveyard and remove it from play. When this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, special summon as many monsters as possible that were remo removed from play by this effect. So, a lot of remove from play cards. That's another thing this uh, deck requires. You sometimes will have to remove from play some cards. Okay. Magical Android. During each of your end phases, gain 600 life points for each second mo second type monster you currently control. Hyper Psychic Blaster. If this card attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing battle damage to your opponent. At the end of the damage step, if this card attacked a defense position monster and that, def monster, and that monster's defense is lower than this card's attack, use its original values if the other monster is no longer on the field. Gain life points equal to the surplus. HTS Psych Muth. After damage calculation, when this card uh, when this card battles an opponent's monster, you can banish that monster. Also, banish this card. The fusion monster, ultimate axon kicker, it requires one psychic type single monster and one psychic type monster. This card cannot be destroyed by card effects during battle between this 
attacking card and a defense uh, position monster whose defense is lower than the attack of this card inflict the di difference as battle damage to your opponent when this card destroys a an opponent's monster by battle send and sends it to the graveyard you gain life points equal to the destroyed monster's attack telekinetic shocker if a psychic type monster on the field will be destroyed you can pay 500 life points and destroy this card instead storm caller you can put your opponent's monster that you can put your opponent's monsters that are destroyed by battle with other psychic type monsters on top of their owner's deck instead of sending them to the graveyard when this card is destroyed by a card effect, this card's controller takes damage equal to its original attack. Space Time Police. When this card is special summoned, target one face up card your opponent controls, banish that target. When this card leaves the field, set the card that was banished by this effect to your opponent's side of the field. Silent Psychic Wizard. When this card is normal summon, you can target one psychic type monster in your graveyard, banish that target. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, special summon that monster banished by this effect. Serene Psychic Witch. When this card is on the field, it is destroyed and sent to the graveyard. You can banish one psychic type monster with 2000 or less attack from your deck. During the, end, during the next standby phase, if this card stays in the graveyard, it's supposed to summon the monster banished by this card's effect. Reinforce Human Psychic Borg. Up to twice per turn, you can remove from play one psychic type monster from your graveyard to have this card gain 500 attack. Psychic Snail. You can pay 800 life points and select one other face up psychic type monster you control. That monster can attack twice during each battle phase. This card cannot attack the turn you activate this effect. Psychic Commander. When a psychic type monster you control battles, during the damage step you can pay life points in multiples of 100, max 500, to have the monster it's battling lose that much attack and defense until the end phase. Side Beast. When this card is normal summon, you can remove from play one psychic type monster from your deck. This card's level becomes the level of that monster. Now keep in mind, this is something I managed to just build together myself to make a you know, decent psychic type uh, deck. Uh, but you can have it something like this, or it's playing on psychic types. No uh, concrete thing in this kind of uh, deck building. So you can make it in any fashion that you please. Power Injector. Once per turn, you can pay 600 life points to have all face up psychic type monster gain 500 attack during this turn. Pandaborg. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can pay 800 life points to special summon one level 4 psychic type monster from your deck. Mind Protector, this card's controller must pay 500 life points during each of their standby phases. If they cannot, destroy this card. Monsters with 2000 or less attack cannot declare an attack except for psychic type monsters. Mental Seeker, when this removed from play card is special summoned, reveal the top three cards of your opponent's deck. Choose one of those cards and remove it from play. Then shuffle the others into the deck. Master Gig. Once per turn, you can pay 1,000 life points to destroy monsters your opponent controls, equal to the number of face up psychic types mon psychic type monsters you control. Crebons. When this card is targeted for an attack, you can pay 800 life points, negate the attack. And Dr. Cranium. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can pay 800 life points to add one psychic type monster from your deck to your hand. Onto the trap cards. Telepathic Power. 
when a, when a psychic type monster you control is destroyed by battle with a with an opponent's attacking monster, target the opponent's monster. Destroy the that target. If you do, gain life points equal to the destroyed monster's attack on the field. Psychic tuning. Select one psychic type monster in your graveyard and special summon it in attack position. It is treated as a tuner. When this card is removed from field, destroy that monster. When that monster is removed from the field, destroy this card. When this card is sent to the graveyard, take damage equal to that monster's level times 400. Psychic Trigger Activate only while your life points are lower than your opponent's. Select two psychic type monsters in your graveyard, remove them from play, draw two cards. Psychic Soul Tribute one psychic type monster you control. Gain life points equal to the level of the attributed monster times 300. Psychic Rejuvenation Gain 1000 life points for each face of psychic type monster you control. Psychic Reactor If you control a psychic type monster, apply this effect to all psychic type monsters you currently control. For the rest of this turn, when a psychic type monster you control battles an opponent's monster, after damage calculation, balance that psychic type monster. Also balance that opponent's, that opponent's monster. Uh, psychic Overload Target three psychic type monsters in your graveyard, shuffle all three into the deck, then draw two cards. Psy Curse When a when a psychic type monster you control is destroyed by a battle with an opponent's attacking monster and sent to the graveyard, target the opponent's monster. Destroy that target. And if you do, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the level of your destroyed psychic type monster times 300. Pass Image If you control a face up psychic type monster, target one monster your opponent controls. Banish it. During the next standby phase, it returns to the opponent's side of the field in the same battle position. Mind over matter. When when an opponent's oh sorry, when a monster would be normal or special summon, or a spell or trap card is activated, tribute one psychic type monster, negate the summon or activation, and if you do, destroy that card. Metal physical rejuvenation. Regeneration. Activate only gain. Activate only during the end phase. Gain one hundred. Sorry. Uh, gain one thousand life points for each psychic type monster sent to the graveyard this turn. Bright future. Target two of your banished psychic type monsters. Return both of those targets to the graveyard and draw one card. Brain hazard. Select one of your removed from play psychic type monsters and special summon it. When this card is removed from the field, destroy that monster. When that monster is is destroyed, destroy this card. Battle teleportation. Activate if you control only one face of psychic type monster and select that monster. It can attack your opponent directly this turn. At the end of the battle phase, give control of that monster to your opponent. Uh, thanks for the subscription. Hey there, um, Marjar or Marjar Marjoran. Okay, on to the spell cards. Teleport. Once per turn, if your opponent controls a monster and you control no monsters, you can pay 800 life points to special summon one psychic type monster from your hand. Tele telekinetic Power Well Special summon any number of level 2 or lower psychic type monsters from your graveyard. You take damage equal to the total levels of those monsters times 300. Yeah, I got a few. Telekinetic Charging Cell. Equip only to a psychic type monster. You do not have to pay life points to activate its effects. 
when the equipped monster is destroyed and this card is sent to the graveyard, you can pay 1,000 life points to return this card to your hand. Probably wouldn't need to do that. Psychokinesis. You can, if you control a psychic type monster, target one card on the field, destroy it, and if you do, take 1,000 damage. Are you going to go online? Uh, no, no. This is just a, a video dedicated to uh, a Sayer as a Yu-Gi-Oh character profile. I do like, you know, uh, profile decks on different arcs type or just characters in general. Uh, I have a YouTube channel. I have a whole bunch of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh characters or just uh, different archetype videos of certain cards like... Uh, Burning Abyss or, uh, uh, shoot, uh, you know, just like Burning Abyss or the Cosmo deck, things like that. Uh, you can check it out on my YouTube channel. It's on, uh, uh, the links is on the Streamlabs, but it's Talkative Carl with a K, and you can just go directly to the YouTube whenever you get a chance. Uh, Psychic Sword. Good. Equip only to a psychic type monster. While your life points is lower than your opponent's, the equipped monster gains attack equal to the difference, maximum 2,000. Psychic Path. Pay 800 life points and select up to two of your removed from play psychic type monsters, add them to your hand. Psychic Field Zone. Select two of your removed from play monsters, one psychic type tuner and one psychic type non tuner. Remove, uh, return them to the graveyard and special summon one psychic type synchro monster from your extra deck and face up defense position whose level equals the total levels of the return monsters. Psychic Blade. Pay life points in multiples of 100, maximum of 2000. Equip this card to a monster. It gains that much attack and defense. You can only activate one psychic blade per turn. Psy Impulse, tribute one psychic type monster, return all cards in your opponent's hand to the deck, then they draw three cards. Okay, we have Future Glow, activate this card by banishing one psychic type monster from your graveyard and note its level. All psychic type monsters you control gains attack equal to that level times 200. ESP Amplifier, all face-up psychic type monsters you control when this card, uh, all face-up psychic type monsters you controlled when this card was activated gain 300 attack for each of your psychic type monsters that is removed from play when this card resolves. During the end phase, remove from play all monsters that were affected by this effect. Don't even know how I would implement this exactly. I might end up screwing that up somehow. All right. Uh, emergency, telepo emergency teleport. Special summon one level three or lower psychic type monster from your hand or deck, but banish it during the end phase of this turn. And finally, brain research lab field spell card. Once per turn, you can normal summon one psychic type monster in addition to your normal summon or set. If successful, place one psychic counter on this card. You can also place one psychic counter on this card instead of paying life points to activate any psychic type monster's effect that you control. When this card is removed from the field, the control of this card takes 1,000 damage for each psychic counter on it. Oof. That took me a good uh, while to go through all that. But let's go ahead and try this out. Let's try against this dude. Yeah, Sayers a, a real creep. It's kind of satisfying to see him getting his comeuppance uh, during the Dark Signer arc. Because he, you know, exploited so many people, especially people who had psychic abilities like Akiza. 
pretty much just using them as weapons. I don't know if he had like a tragic background, like being like a psyche as a young dude and being persecuted. So maybe he went like a pretty much a revolution for psychic people, but he, he became pretty much like a self-absorbed self uh, jerk and kind of a sadist in a way. I need a tuna monster. Don't know why my life is over machine is not working. Oh, there it goes.
Whoa, man. I was worried there. Is a Kiza. I think next week, uh, for the next character profile, I want to try out Officer Trudge's deck. Save my source of revealing light. I better put this down just in case. I can see where this is going. My question, how do you guys feel about Sayer as a character? Do you like psychic type cards at all? Thank you. 
Psychic decks can be very deadly because as uh, if they set up the cards the way in a, in a way that I have it set up, it's very hard to overcome them. again. I mean, there's a couple of things that come to mind in order to beat a psychic deck. Try to make sure their life points get so low uh, so they can't afford to pay the cost of using their special abilities that comes in mind. Cut them off completely from the graveyard. And that's just a for instance. Or you can negate their abilities altogether, like uh, Skill Drain. Pretty sure that's Wall of Ivy, but let's see. Yep, Wall of Thorns. I mean, Psychic sword. So even if he summons, if she summons Cluster Amaryllis, 
not gonna be stronger than what I have. Or you can use that. What does Pot Agree do? Could try against Leo, mix it up a bit. I'll do maybe at least uh, this match and maybe one more, and then I'll move on to some Overwatch for another hour right after this. So if you're into Overwatch uh, video games, uh, you can watch me play around with that. I think you say would have a better chance. You say or Akiza would have a better chance in taking down Sayer in a duel than almost any other duelist that he dueled against. Well, Carly had to be an evil uh, dark signer in order to bring out her full potential and really uh, tear him up.
Axel, hey, what's up? For turn, you can pick one round card in your opponent's hand. Yeah. Well, hola. No, no, I'm in Spanish, but greetings. Don't need to remove anything else for right now.
Hyper Psychic Blaster. Uh, you control a psychic type monster. Uh, psychic type monsters you control for the rest of this turn. Uh, when a psychic type monster you control, bows on boss monster. After the damage calculation, bounds a psychic type monster. Bounds. Just in case. try against Misty. Better this be the last match of the video, win or lose. And before I forget, uh, once again, I stream every day except Wednesdays and Thursdays, uh, 6 p.m., usually at 6 p.m. or 7 p.m., depending on what's going on. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, YouTube, uh, Twitch, Talkative Carl, Carl with a K. The links is in the Streamlabs, but you can also go directly to my YouTube channel, Talkative Carl. And if you have Twitter, you can follow me there. That's where I usually be when I'm announcing when I'm streaming or if i'm not gonna be streaming or i'm streaming early whatever the case might be Get that removed from the field. That was a six, and yeah, level two.
Needed to get rid of that. I will be doing a video for Misty at some point in the future. Don't know when, but I will. wishes. I may not be able to attack, but neither can she, unless she destroys those messengers of peace. And I have enough life points to survive any, at least a few attacks from that monster if push comes to shove. change a, uh, it to a defense position at all.
Here it goes. Boom. They only got one loss against Akiza. But I ain't but that's alright. Alright, and that was Sayer's deck, the psychic duelist. Uh what you guys think? Uh if it's something that you might be interested in might be interested in, I do highly recommend trying out a psychic type deck. Uh, you can build it any way you want. It's, like I said before, there's no set uh, criteria. Uh, just make sure you include cards if you're building this in real life or on the Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist game, uh, which is all, uh, I believe, is on PlayStation as well. But you can buy on the Microsoft Store on the Xbox, or you can buy it on the Nintendo Switch. That's technically the more updated format, so that we can get the uh, uh, story. There's only a few episodes of the story mode for Yu-Gi-Oh! Brains on the uh, Nintendo Switch version of this game. But uh, when you're building on a second deck, make sure you also include certain cards to support uh, your deck by increasing your life points as much as you can like spell absorption or uh, uh, what was that uh, solemn wishes life absorber machine or even some of these psychic cards also increase your life points make sure you I highly recommend including these kinds of cards into the deck so uh, you have enough life points to pay for any of the costs the other cards require you to make in order to use their effects so 
uh, like I said, next week I will be, because I don't know if I'll do it this Friday, but definitely some point next week, I will be doing a new character profile for uh, Officer Trudge, probably next Monday if I don't do it this Friday. So I will, it'll, give me 10 minutes. If you want to hang out to watch me play some Overwatch, I'll be uh, taking a good 10 minutes and loading that up and then I'll play that for an hour and then I think I'll do maybe one more game if I'm feeling up to it uh, but I'll see y'all in a little bit <laughs>